my god. Oh my god, I'm 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 going crazy here! How's it going, all you space nerds? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Nimbatus. Now, today we are going to continue our adventure in taking over this galaxy that you see in front of us. In the first episode, we did defeat the first planet, which was planet Kumi, and we kind of did a crash course on how to make some drones. Today, hopefully we go a little bit deeper into this game and have some fun taking out some alien scum. So I was thinking today, we're gonna start with planet Wiffby, or Wiff, Wiffy by Wiffy B? Cannot say that word, doesn't even matter, but if we visit this planet really quickly, I like this one because it says destroy large hive at the planet's core. And I did want to make a drilling drone, so I thought this would be a good challenge for us since we haven't really tried drilling into the Earth's crust yet. Now this one, it seems like it's pretty normal, gravity's normal, air resistance and everything, so we, it should be a rather easy planet. Uh, but yes, we have not tried to drill yet, so this is going to be a little bit of a learning experience. Now I did play a little bit off recording, I was playing with the sensors as well as the stabilizers, just to kind of get used to them, and actually, I'll show you how these work, because it's pretty cool to me. Uh, we're going to test flight this real quick. I don't think I'm going to actually use this little contraption I made, but I do like it. So now, I made it upside down, but it self-stabilizes, as you can see. That's what that middle thing's doing. It's keeping it in that direction, and then we have a sensor on the bottom. Once that sensor is hit, it uh, tries to stabilize it. So if you wanted to kind of hover around an Earth, you can do it just like that. Uh, so we're probably gonna get into using some of these today, it's really cool. But I do like to start from scratch, so we are going to save and exit that, and we are going to create a new drone. A drilling drone. Alright, so let's get this started. I don't really have a plan just yet. I'm just gonna go for it, and you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Let's actually use the small batteries. This thing... I don't think it's gonna have too many weapons on it, but you never know. It might go that direction after a little while here, so we're just gonna put couple of these small batteries. What's the what's the difference between these two? So this has an HP of 500, this has an HP of 1000, the mass is 0 0.5, 0 0.25, so it looks like it is exactly the half. Actually, no, energy capacity of these little guys is four times as less as the large battery, but the recharge rate, oh no, the recharge rate is actually the same too. So I don't know why you wouldn't use the large batteries. We're actually going to change that now that I looked at that because there's really no sense for me to use these little dudes. All right, that's fine. No, I don't think we're going to, well, we might need a lot of power because drills do take a lot of power. Now we do have options for the weapons. We can either use a drill, I mean, anything can affect the ground, but it seems like the best weapons are the drill, maybe even TNT explodes when assigned the key pressed or damaged. Uh, yeah, TNT is a little too dangerous for me. But the drill or the uh, plasma rocket, no, not the plasma rocket gun tower, sorry, the plasma short beam laser are generally what you want to use if you are making a drilling creation. I'm going to use drills because we haven't had like a melee build yet, and that sounds kind of fun to me. So we're just going to go and uh, get a few of these on here. So control C. Control V. Oh, dude, I love the building in this. Every time I come back, it's, it's, just, it's just such a great game. And obviously, we want it as wide as the craft itself. Let's actually move these up so we can put some stuff in that space there. And you know what? I think we're going to make this five wide now that I think about it. All right, so I'll move those one pixel each. And in the middle, we have two so we can move this up and right there like that. Now that should be good. Actually, I just want to move that up a little bit. I love the look of that. That's going to look really cool. Maybe we can make it kind of look like a scorpion or something. But I do want to have this balanced as well. So we're going to do that next. And we are going to use the directional sensor. Now, I think we got to put it like that. And that's going to balance it. Now, direction, you can either go by gravity or by cursor. It can follow your cursor if you want. You can control this thing just with your cursor, which is pretty cool. We're going to do it to gravity, though, because I want to be able to control it as well. All right, let's just see if this power can deal with these drills. So, wow, it used that uh, thing really, really quickly. But as you can see, it's holding up now and keeping all its power. So we have more than enough power to deal with that. Now we got to get to the propulsion aspect. I kind of want to try... I don't know what the dynamic thruster means. Let's throw this on here and activate increase. Oh, okay, so you can have different speeds, which is really cool. We're not going to go that crazy, though, so I'm going to actually get rid of that. Let's let's keep it simple, stupid, and uh, actually use ordinary thrusters here. So I do want a lot of power. The faster we go, the faster we can obviously drill through it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And the cool thing is you can actually 
copy multiple things at once. For example, if I wanted two sensors for some reason, I could just highlight both of these. Bam, control C, control V, and I have that segment all set up once again. Obviously right now, all I want is that. So we're gonna do that, control V, control C, and uh, I don't know how many I want, but there's gonna be quite a few of them. All right, let's do five, that sounds good. I'm gonna do my best to keep these evenly apart. That looks pretty accurate to me. And then this one just goes down here like that. Uh, I feel like, yeah, that's off a little bit. That's it right there. Perfect, I think, I hope. Next up, of course, is steering and, ooh, okay, so I know what the circle is, by the way. I thought that was the limitation on how far you can go, but no, that is indeed how far you can go from the heart of your creation to keep it attached to that. So, that's just for that, but we can make these as big as you want, which was really cool to me. So if I go over here, you can see that the circle changes. Uh, so yeah, that was a slight mistake that I made in the first episode, my bad. Uh, but this should actually work pretty well here, so this looks good. I like the look of this, and these are going to be how I turn. So we're gonna put that one on D, and we are going to put this one on D. Hopefully I do this right. I, I'm, I'm very bad at designing turning, as you guys have noticed. And then that one is already on A, so that's perfect, and this one should be on A as well. So now if we test flight... Oh yeah, I, that's right, I, I need gas first, hold on. Alright, just get a bunch of these little guys, actually. I like the, I like the look of these, and we're just gonna test this real quick, so hopefully... Oh, oh, gee, oh. Well, that didn't go as planned. That was, that was really weird. Let's try that again. Okay, so I think I made these... <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I made these a little too long, and obviously, they're, they're jets, so they're pushing those beams all over the place, and that is totally breaking it. So we're just going to, uh, I guess bring these in by quite a bit. All right, a much more compact design, as you can see. Let's uh, test this out. And, oh, that is so much better. Look at that. We're doing good. Obviously, we don't have any long-range weapons on this just now, so this is really just a minor at this point. Uh, but that's what I wanted it to be for the start. Now we can go kind of deeper into this. Let's actually, I didn't really test how much gas I was using. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, it's actually, you can see the uh, little balls slowly going down. We've already lost two. But it looks like that's pretty much it, and they seem to be regening fast enough. Wow, these guys are aggressive. All right, let's throw these flamethrowers on just to see what they do. I kind of want to see the sparks, too. So let's actually... Uh, sparks thrower. We're just going to check out both of these weapons. This is kind of testing right now. Uh, these things are really cool, though. So what are, what are these on? Mouse zero? Let's put both of these... Okay, they're both on mouse zero, so... I don't know what mouse zero is. Okay, so that's just left click. All right, so we're gonna try the flamethrowers and the spark cannons. It looks like flamethrowers actually got decent distance, but the spark cannons look awesome. Can you guys see that? It actually seems to, I don't know if it follows them or if it arcs towards them, but that is really, really cool. All right, and it does do seem to do a lot of damage, so I think we're gonna try these spark cannons out and see how they work. All right, I don't wanna go crazy with the weapons, though, so we're only gonna put a couple on here. Rocket sniper, bio rocket sniper. Yeah, they're, oh, by, by the way, I accidentally sold that one new one I bought. I was testing out the, I believe it was the scrapyard, and I accidentally sold it, which was unintentional, so uh, we're gonna have to get that back later on, or we're gonna have to earn another one. I don't know if we'll be able to get that exact one back, but that's why you don't see that right now. So let's try that out. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. And, oh yeah, we still got the other guy on here, which is fine. Okay, I don't like that these are so slow that it, I'm, I'm actually as fast as them going forward. So we might even want to put these on the back of our craft or something. We'll try this out. We'll see how it is. Uh, I feel like I'm going to need more weaponry, though, especially on a planet. All right, so what, what I'm going to do, because these things go everywhere and they arc, let's just, uh... I'm throwing a couple more on here. I do really like the sparks, but I feel like that's not going to be enough damage. So that looks really cool. Now let's change the actual drills to space. Yeah, that should be good. That way I'm not wasting energy when I don't need to be, and I can use the weapons at one time and use the drills when I need to use the drills. Now, once again, I'm going to go back to test flight, and the one thing that I haven't set up yet was the actual sta stabilizer, the directional sensor. So what you got to do for that is just tell it what button to press when it's tilting right or left. So obviously, if it's tilting right, you want it to go to the left, so we're going to hit A. If it's tilting to the left, you're going to want it to go to the right, so it's going to hit D. Now, this might actually, I might want to keep that off. Oh, okay, so it's actually t doing it already. 
and I put it in upside down. And I realized now I don't really need a sensor. I don't actually even want the sensor. Uh, so I think I'll just keep it off and keep that as a connection point for those. Or actually, you know what? Let's try the cursor out because that's something I haven't done yet. So tilting right, we want to go to the left. And you get the idea. So now it should follow my cursor. So when I test flight, you can see... It, oh, it's actually going the opposite way of my cursor, which is okay. I just got to flip this thing around, I think. So if we... Oh, oh God, that's not good. All right, I think I got it set up right now. So if we test flight, it should now... You can see my mouse on the screen. Yes, it's going to constantly try and correct itself until it's perfectly aimed at my mouse. So now I can just hold forward and kind of just get it to follow me, which doesn't really help too much in this regard, but I'm assuming for automated ships, that's going to be much easier. So let's try these things out. Oh, I don't know if I like these. I don't like that they don't actually go towards the enemies. They don't seem to... Man, you can't even hit these guys. All right, it did look really cool before though. So. Honestly, I think it's going to be useful while we're mining, though, because it's going to focus on being behind us. And obviously, as we're drilling through the ground, enemies are going to come behind us. So we'll try it, see if this is doable. Uh, I gotta say, I'm not really liking these weapons, though. So, all right, we're going to save this and exit. Not going to name this one anything, because I think we're going to have to uh, troubleshoot it a little bit. But we got it set up. We got sensors on this. And, uh, well, stabilization sensor, that's it. But this should be, uh, pretty interesting. So, here we go, and into the ground. Oh, these drills are great, and that's what I'm talking about. It's going to keep my tunnel nice and safe as I drill downwards. Now, how are we doing? Okay, power is definitely, uh, being used quite quickly. Oh, Jesus, okay. Hey, guys, what's up in here? Now, I don't think I have the firepower to deal with this, but, oh! Actually, that wasn't too bad at all. We got rid of the core, and we are good to go. So, obviously, these planets are pretty small, which is really cool to me. But, yeah, I didn't expect that to go so well, to be totally honest with you. I thought we would have to trial and error a few things. So, we still got to destroy the transmitter, though. So, let's go back up. I also love... That's very trippy, by the way. The gravity changes the camera when you're down here. So, uh... Oh, that's very dizzy. I love it. All right, one thing this thing doesn't have is shields, so we do have to be a little bit... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, you know what? Let's just drill. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome. There you go. You guys can have that. Now, we need to go get the transmitter. So, I don't even care about these things, but I just want to see if I can drill through it. Oh, I didn't even notice the drills actually turn red as you work with them. I did not put a reverse in this. I quickly realized that now. All right, you know what? We're just going to drill into the, the earth again, and we'll just go out the other side. No big deal. So, yeah, this one needs a little bit of work before it's really perfect. I totally forgot to put a backup on it, though. Should have done that. Oh, God! Didn't even see you guys there. There you go. You guys can have that, and that works really, really well, actually. All right, so here's the guy right here, so we can just... We can just sneak and hit it right from the bottom. There we go. Transmitter completed. We're done. Let's get the heck out of here before these guys kill us. You know what? I'm going to try and kill this thing, though. There you guys go. Eat drill. Bam. Done. All right. So we can leave that planet, and we got the EMP bullet gun tower. So you guys actually let me know. I didn't notice that the weapon that we got was slightly different. Uh, the range on them was much better. So attack speed upgrade, less recoil upgrade. Ooh, these look actually really good. Sticky bullets. Okay, so each weapon, obviously, I think they're totally randomized, and you get different benefits for each weapon. So it's bullet, it's EMP, and it's got sticky bullets. Man, that is, that's a really cool sounding weapon. So we did it, though. Not too bad. Took out one planet already. Let's go back, and let's see what else we can do. Ooh, we got a nice new big planet here. Looks like Mars. Taxgu, Taxugu. All right, this one, we need to destroy the transmitter. Explore nearby locations. Now, uh, ooh, this planet looks interesting. Sounds pretty simple, though. You know what? Let's go do it. Let's try and earn some more items. Now, I'm going to go, and we are going to edit this drone a little bit. First of all, I think I'm going to change the weapon, or at least put another weapon on it. Yeah, you know what? Let's totally change this weapon. It does work good as you're drilling, though, to kind of just spread it all out behind you uh, so no enemies can get you from behind. But that's really all it's good for. I use my drills most of all throughout that. And we're going to try the EMP bullet gun tower. I got to be honest, I have no idea how this thing will work, so we're just going to test flight real quick. And okay, so it's just, it's a literal bullet gun. Okay. It is doing lots and lots of damage, though. Ooh, that's a cool gun. Look at that thing. All right. Problem is, I do have to learn how to aim now, though, with this thing. And I don't... It's very hard to aim as your creation's trying to constantly 
turn you as well. So let's actually, I really wish we could just turn this off. Once you have it set up, you can't turn it off, but I guess we could just tell it to do like L and O buttons we don't use, and it probably will work just fine to, uh, yeah, okay, so we, we, we turn that off for the time being. And I'm gonna increase the amount of speed on this a little bit just because A, we can, and B, I like speed, so there we go. That is a pretty small little craft with lots and lots of thrusters on it. So let's uh, save and exit that and uh, let's launch this thing and see what happens. Again, uh, this planet's much different, so this might be interesting. All right, here we are, and we are in a much faster creation as you can see. Ooh, it's actually, oh, did I not turn on the other? I didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I did. It's just hard to see. I actually kind of broke it really quickly here. Okay, so we have to destroy the transmitter. Oh, God. Does that actually affect me? I forgot to put reverse on it again. Uh, you know what? Maybe let's go back and do that. I do want to change this a little bit, too, actually. All right. Just moved a few things around, and uh, we should be good. And this is going to go over here. So this should be on S automatically. And no, it's not. Why do you think that's D? It's going in the direction, the opposite direction of the ship. I don't know why it thinks it's D, but uh, I also turned my uh, turning thrusters a little bit out more. So hopefully that helps a little bit. We're going to save and exit that, and let's launch once again. All right, here we are. Beam me up, Scotty. Ooh, Jesus. Okay, so a little bit wobbly in the back end, as you can see. Ooh, okay, let's see if the backups actually work. And how much damage? Ooh, these things, I thought they did more damage than that. Very slow at reversing, as you can see. This is getting into a heavy creation status, but still working good enough. All right, we're just going to take these things out, since it doesn't seem like there's too many enemies on this planet, at least. They're probably all in the core of the planet. I need to find the transmitter, and you know what? Maybe we should drill into the planet, because it doesn't seem like it's very... Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I made it too wide now. Oh, God, that's not good. Okay, let's just... Uh... Trying to expand this out a little bit. This is this is a tight fit. Trial and error, I guess you could say that. This is a really bright planet. My god, the lava is everywhere. I, I thought the lava would affect me. It doesn't seem like it is, but maybe it just takes a little bit of time. All right, let's open that a little bit. There we go. Making our way through. This is a very big planet. Okay, you know what? Let's go back and edit this a little bit more. All right, so what I did, uh, I did notice when I was drilling that it actually is bigger than the drill, so I'm thinking this should be safe. I didn't want to add any more to this craft because I wanted to keep it rather light. Uh, so I just kept with the same five, and hopefully these spaces in between each drill are filled with the drills because they are definitely bigger. So we'll try this out. We'll just see what happens and I'll launch it up. Let's hope for the best here. All right, that looks actually pretty wide apart. I'm a little nervous, but... Oh, perfect. Look at that, and it's so fast. We're gonna go right through this planet in no time at all. Still does hit the wall just a little bit, and I'd like to fix that later on to make the perfect driller. Okay, that's definitely in the middle of the planet right there, as you can see. So we got a rather big planet this time, but at least now our drill seems to be working much better. We got the speed to push right through this, and uh, yeah, right out the other side. No big deal at all. That was amazing. The turning's a little slow because it's so heavy now, but aside from that, it's rather good. Ah, there it is. Okay, so I was looking for it for a while here. We're just going to go right through. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm just going to destroy your transmitter here. I'm going to slowly break through and uh, play this one safe, you know. So I did have a little bit of a breakage. You can see it by back thruster. It kind of went in on top of each other. That's the joy of this game. It is physics-based, so weird stuff like that can happen. And, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a little wobbly. I could definitely have some more structural integrity. As you can see, it's all screwed up right now. But what I wanted to make was a driller, and that's definitely what it did. We also beat this, destroy transmitter, explore nearby locations. Uh, well, we're done that, so... Oh, we didn't actually get a weapon for that? I thought we were gonna get a weapon. That's no fun. All right, well, I guess we're done that planet, so no big deal, and look at all of that that unlocked. Oh, we got a shop here. Let's go over to the shop. We do got some of this green currency, whatever this thing is that I could spend. Uh, I guess that's to reset, probably, and it looks like, uh, yeah, it just has random items that you can reset whenever you want. How much do these things cost? Okay, so there's the price right there. Plasma rocket shotgun. Do I have one of those? I feel like I don't. Uh, do we have, let's actually make sure, before I get too crazy into this, I kind of want to see if I have a shotgun or not. We're gonna go 
Let's keep expanding this out. Let's go to this little guy right here. See what this guy has going on with it. Uh, destroy transmitter. So another basic one. All right, but what I want to know is, do we have a shotgun in here? So, uh, flamethrower, sparks tower, and then we got the gun tower. I don't think we have a shotgun in here. So yeah, you know what? I like the idea of shotguns. Let's go and buy that thing. So we're going to save and exit, and we're just going to go back. We're not going to do that one just now. And let's go buy that shotgun. We have this money, we may as well spend it. Plus, it's a rocket shotgun. How hardcore is that? All right, we bought that. And we can regen if we want to. I'm not going to regen it, though, because we still have to test all these weapons out. So we're going to go over here. This is another basic one, so we should be able to do this really, really quickly. Uh, that being said, air resistance is high. Risk level is also medium, so this might be harder than it seems. We'll give it a good shot, though, and see if we can do it with my little my little creation here. I kind of want to go back to this, because I do... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's bring this back. Let's, let's edit this a little bit. Uh, cause we don't need to dr drill into the ground anyway, so we may as well go back and work on this for a little bit. Alright, so the biggest thing is I did not put the steering in right. I had AA on one side and DD on the other side. You generally don't want that, so, uh, this one we're gonna want to turn... Oh my god, my brain can't work. So yeah, we're gonna want this one as A. Now test flight this, and this should improve it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's all we needed to make this thing absolutely amazing, and this thing is still... You can see just the amount of damage output is ridiculous. <laughs> it's almost too much from what else that I've seen. So what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to throw that other weapon on here and see how it is. Because I'm just curious to see how it works. So we'll throw a couple on right here. Keep those on mouse 1, 2, or mouse 0, and... Ooh, I can't even... Okay, so yeah, it just spreads in a nice arc in front of it. That's actually a really good damage output. And let's just make sure... You can see my batteries. I have so much battery power, I really don't need to worry about the amount that I'm doing. You see, they're still going down. I mean, I would have to be in a pretty big fight to run out of battery power. One thing I do want to do on this is make it much, much faster. Now that we have the turning radius that I wanted, we are going to increase this puppy by quite a bit. I don't, I don't want to break it, though, either. That's a little worry of mine, is that I'm going to actually change it so much that I break it. We're going to get rid of these spikes, because... There's just no need for them. Because our damage output is so crazy. And you know what? I really like this. So we'll test flight this real quick. See how much faster. You know what? That's a very decent, a very good speed. And I think this is going to be our killer, man. This thing is a beast. All right. So that should be good. That's all I wanted to do was quickly test that one out and change it a little bit. So let's launch this up. Now, this is a medium planet. But I got to remember, we do have those shields. So I got to remember to use those things. And I think I put that on space bar. So... Uh, we'll quickly test that. Yep, there we go. We just had to destroy the transmitter once again. Ooh, we're so much slower. The air resistance is real. Done! <laughs> oh, dude. I think these planets are randomly generated, so we just got really lucky with this one. Let's go see if we can kill some more alien scum since we're here. And we can kind of check out the different planets as well. You can see the green goo over here. No idea what that is. Actually, it looks like this planet's rather dead, so... We did it real quick, at least. We can explore more of the galaxy. I was hoping to fight some people, though, damn it. All right, let's just go do another planet. How about that? All right, back it up, Buttercup. Let's see more of this place. And we got some big ones. I want something simple, though. So I don't want to go too crazy right now. Destroy hives and destroy transmitter. Simple enough. We got risk level of medium once again. Why was the other one risk level medium, by the way? We didn't even see anything. I mean, I didn't go around the whole planet, though, so I guess there could have been something somewhere on that planet, but I didn't see anything, man, aside from just the little few things around. Oh, God. Okay. Stop talking. Let's just get fighting. And this is more like it. Oh, God. They actually have the blast radius. Okay. Pop those up. Getting a little scared already. Do you see just how much damage I do? I just get rid of these guys instantaneously. This is great. Okay. My shields have been dropped. I need to break this hive. Wow, these guys got lots of HP. I feel like the hives have more HP here. Oh my god, we got more coming in. We got more coming in. And I'm just trying to turn around real quick. It's taking me a while to do that. Just realized I forgot a spike on the top of my craft. Oh, look at look at how wobbly I am. Oh god, that's bad. Okay, let's stop wobbling, please. You're scaring me. All right, yeah, I think I lost one of my thrusters, and that's really screwing me up. All right, let's just keep going. We need to take out all the hives. My shields, unfortunately, I don't have the energy to pop my shields up. Let's just chill here for a second, gain some energy. Oh yeah, there we go, that's the stuff. Wobble me into that tree, hopefully I don't get ground damage from doing this, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna sit here for a second, cause I lost one of my batteries, and uh, yeah, we're having some power struggles, so 
We definitely, if we're gonna use those shields, I think we need some more power. Oh my god, this thing is so wobbly. It's hard to control now. This is not fun. What the heck is that? Oh, that's just a little planet? That's so cool. All right, excuse me, planet. I don't want to take you all out, but I got to get this hive down quick. All right, pop those up. There we go. Destroy hives complete. Thank God that means there's less enemies around here. We just need to find the transmitter now with the big dudes. What the heck? I thought you guys were all dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. It, you don't have to destroy all the hives. You just have to destroy most. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm I'm, I'm going crazy here. I'm going. Okay, there it is. There it is. I'm vibrating like crazy. I only got one more of my things. We did it. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how this thing's working right now. What was that? Something just exploded on me. Okay, let's get the heck off this land before bad things happen. I just want to destroy this final hive because killing alien scum is the funnest thing in this game. Oh, there we go. What, what, whatever was breaking me just broke off, and now I can actually control it somewhat. Oh, thank God. All right, but we did everything we need to do, so we're going to leave that planet, and we got a short beam laser. So, I don't know what the colors of the names mean. I'm assuming that's the rarities, and I don't know if it plays, like, you know, WoW colors. This might be an epic weapon, though, and that's pretty cool if it is. Attracting beam, we got penetrating laser short beam, so it's short, and a biomechanical, or biochemical ammunition. Sorry about that. So, yeah, obviously the weapons are pretty interesting in this game, and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So, we did a lot today. We expanded quite a bit of the galaxy, as you can see. We got maybe about 10% of it done now. Now, we still haven't checked out the sumo training and scrapyard and stuff like that. We're gonna get to that, I promise, but I just enjoy... And I'm still learning, too, by the way. Uh, the sumo training, you need an, an autonomous craft. I can't build one of those just yet, so as we learn, as we go about, we will learn about more of these things and, uh, yeah, go deeper into this very awesome game. So once again, guys, this is Nimbatus. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode building our first mining creation and improving our first weaponized creation. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.